Let's go ahead, come back together. All right. What did we come up with? Let's get some throwouts here. What did we come up with? Sit. Uh, we said one of the questions could be how do uh, Earth's interior, how does Earth's interior affect me the world around me? Ooh, so like you're thinking ahead already to the EQ. How does Earth's interior affect the world, me and the world around me? Oh, I love that. All right, what were some other things that we brainstormed? David. Something about a seismograph, okay? So thinking that that should kind of play into it. All right, Joe? Um, I just feel like there should be something about us depending on the earth. Okay, so we should see somehow that there's a dependency on the earth. All right, I like that. Yeah, we kind of talked about how, um, like, how was the earth actually created because of okay. how the worded, how the pre-assessment was worded. Okay. So the pre-assessment really kind of focused on some, uh, some background creation of the earth and how that all formed and came together. So maybe something that is along those lines of how was that creation actually created. Those are very good. Anybody else? I like it. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. Are you ready to see what the actual answer is? Now, this um, unit is so extraordinarily awesome. We, not have, we don't only have one E. We have two E's. Whoa! All right. So you see that big blank space there on the left hand side of your EU side? We're going to write both of these down. Are you ready? Woo! All right. So we are going with all things have unique properties. Okay. And we are going with patterns help make predictions. Now, once you have jotted those two things down in that open space on the left hand side, I want you to look on the right hand side, and there are two boxes there. What does this mean? How can we connect this thought to other subjects? It doesn't always have to just be school subjects either. We can think in real world context as well. Do we see things connected to each other? Yes. Is there an enduring understanding that might go with this? Let's look up there on the board, just glance up. Do you see an enduring understanding that might go with this? Yeah. What do you think, Kylie? Relationships, relationships exist between all things. Very good. Yeah, they're all related. It might be a good relationship. It might be a bad relationship. The coyote might say, mm, this is a good relationship. I just had a lovely chipmunk for lunch. But the chipmunk might say, this is a bad relationship. You know, all in perspective. You know, which side you're on. But they all are related. Very good. <coughs> Same one. What do you think? What do you think? Um, it's actually two. What do you think? And tell it's, me why. Change happens over time. Because, because there are a lot less otters, that is a change, and that happens over time. The change is that there were a lot less otters, and then they couldn't eat the urchins. And then the urchins ate all of them. You're doing great. All of the kelp. Very good. Good. So you, that was the first one. So change. Did you think that happened overnight? No. No. It took a long time, didn't it? Okay. So what was the other one you suggest? Relationships exist between all things. Okay. Would you like to explain that? Because the relationship is the otter eats the urchin. And the otters need to eat the urchins or there's not going to be Help. Yeah, so the ecosystem will be balanced, will it? Yeah. Good job. Let's look here at the math. Would you please tell me the math enduring understanding that goes with, up with unique properties just like science? Can you see it? Yeah, come on over. Unique properties belong to everything. Yeah, unique properties belong to everything. So even though we're doing a science lesson, math has the same enduring understandings, one very similar, not exactly the same in wording, but very similar to science. 